So what's happening is I'm going on my very first plane trip by myself. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video planned and it's actually going to turn into a series. So what's happening is I'm going on my very first plane trip by myself. If you didn't know already, I'm only 13 and I've never gone on a plane on my own. So this is a big deal. There isn't going to be anybody that I know. My mom and dad aren't going to be there. My brother isn't going to be there. And you know, no friends at all. So this is kind of nerve wracking. And I thought that I would share my experience with you guys. So if you've never traveled on your own, you can see how it's like. And the place that I'm going is New York. That is where I was born. That is where I lived four years of my life. And I haven't been there since I was in first grade. So this, as I said, is a really big deal to me because I'm also gonna be surprising my best, best friend that I haven't seen since I was in first grade. She has no idea that I'm coming, but I'll um, try my best to film her reaction. So this is my outfit for the airport. I got this fuzzy poopy jacket um, just for this trip because I thought it would be really comfortable and nice to have. Then I have this Brandy Melville shirt and some comfy black yoga pants with of course socks and I'm going to wear my Nike Air Force Ones. Shuttle bus and um, our original terminal was terminal two, but there's terminal three. terminal three, and there wasn't much to do there, so we're going to terminal two because there's a lot more stuff that you can do.
I just got to the house i have to kind of talk quiet because my godmom is who's taking care of me and her husband is asleep because it's 12 a.m and he has work tomorrow so this is the end of today i'm gonna be going to bed and getting ready and all that because i'm really tired and i woke up at 6 a.m today so i didn't get much sleep and i've been awake for a really long time so the next part of this um, New York series is going to be me surprising my best friend Juliana. So make sure to watch the next part if you want to see that. I'm sure you do. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next part. Bye! Hey guys, this is present me. I am now back from New York and I just wanted to talk about flying alone for a little bit. So for me, the experience was not too bad. The only con was that I didn't have anybody to like lay on while sleeping. I'd usually just lean on my mom's shoulder or something, but I had to lean against the plane and I had to like sleep with my legs like this and it wasn't too comfortable to, for me. But everything else was fine. It wasn't scary for me and the trip wasn't that bumpy. Um, some things that happened were that I had to wear a tracker bracelet. They gave me like this red bracelet with a tracking number on it. I think it's just in case if I was to get lost in the airport, which I didn't. Um, another thing was that I accidentally took the guy next to me seatbelt. That was just a, an embarrassing thing that happened. It has nothing to do with if I liked the plane ride or not. It was just embarrassing to me. Um, another thing was that I tried to open a water bottle for like 10-20 minutes. I couldn't open it. And so I asked the guy next to me. And it turns out there was a little thing that you had to pull off before that you would open it. It was one of those smart water bottles. And I... Okay. That was also embarrassing. And also that there were two other minors traveling on the plane. Two girls, they sat in front of me. I didn't talk to them, but it seemed like they've done it many times before and that... You know they were really experienced in it so that's pretty much all that happened on the flight and my experience was pretty great i would love to travel with my parents though but this wasn't bad at all mm -hmm.